Today I'll be going over five trends I expect to see this spring and summer season. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and consider subscribing for similar content. Without wasting any time, let's get it. A trend that's already established itself pretty well is bloatcore. The two people that have most notably made this popular from what I've seen are both Brandon Huntley as well as Lucas Ludwig. This trend seems to be most popular on TikTok compared to other social media platforms. Overall, I think it looks really good for summer, and being an athlete myself, I've always enjoyed athleisure looks and this fits in with that perfectly. It's pretty easy to adopt this style by just wearing a soccer jersey. A lot of people have specifically been buying vintage jerseys from what I've seen, and then wearing a pair of shorts or jeans, it doesn't really matter, and finally kind of finishing off the look with a pair of sneakers. When looking for sneakers, Sambas are probably the best affordable option. I'd also recommend Gazelles from Adidas. I was able to get a pair for only 25 bucks at the outlets. And lastly, the more expensive option I've seen people wear that looks good are the Margella Gats. And they're just gonna be more expensive, but give you that same look. Moving into the second trend, it's knitwear, which has become more popular within recent years to be styled casually. Specifically, I noticed more people buying cardigans for the last year or so now. Tyler the Creator has been a big driver behind why knitwear has become popular. Cardigans definitely can be styled in the summer, but I think it's a bit more practical going with something like a knit polo or vest. I'd mostly recommend going vintage if you're trying to pick up some knitwear, or I saw some nice options from J. Crew, Todd Snyder, and Stussy. Moving into the third trend, jean shorts are a piece of clothing I've seen more of, and I'm unsure if they'll become super popular. I really like the recent pair of big old jean shorts from Stussy. However, most of the time I think jean shorts look better as cutoffs. The nice thing about jean shorts possibly becoming popular or a trend again is if you have an old pair of jeans, you can just kind of cut them off and you'll be able to fit in the trend without spending any money. Mules and sandals will continue to be popular throughout this summer. Right now the most popular models seem to be between the Yeezy Slides and the Birkenstock Bostons. I recommended the Elix Mono Slip-Ons not too long ago in a video. They have a nice shape and seem to be pretty easy to style. If you like Birkenstocks but don't want to get Bostons or Arizonas, the Kyoto is an interesting model. I've seen these for a little while now but haven't seen anybody wear them. Real quickly I thought I'd go over three brands I've been paying closer attention to with summer coming up. And Supreme's the first one, which I'm really glad the hype has kind of died down within the last year or so. I think this has been a good time to get deals. I know it is. I've got some myself. And this has been a good season. The first three to four weeks all had something good dropping, where usually week one is the best and then it kind of dies out from there. Stussy is another brand I've been paying attention to recently. I'm a fan of their most recent collection with our legacy. They put together a lot of nice pieces. If you haven't checked them out yet, make sure to check out the collection. Lastly for the video, I have the LL Bean Todd Snyder collection. The colors and use of logos used in the collection stood out from what LL Bean typically offers. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. Also, let me know down below in the comments if you expect to see anything else this summer. I'll see you next time. Peace.